Hi everybody, it's Nicole from CardstockHeadquarters.com and we just got a, a machine in, an e-craft machine from Craftwell and this is going to be our demo machine for our store so that I can do videos with for you guys so when you get your machines um, you will be able to start using them right away and kind of get a feel for them and how everything works anyway I just thought um, we'd start with using a layer item on the design card which we have Fundamentals 1 and I just picked this cute little show you here it's almost like a tulip right there so how this works is there's this booklet let me see if I can fold it up back the way it came fundamentals one and for each category has an image so category one is the heart category two is a circle and so on category three is flower and then in that section is all the images for that category so we're actually going to use category three and we're going to be cutting this item right here and it says image 20 flower 9 and then you'll see image 21 flower 9 onlay 1 and so on so it has the pieces here so we're going to do that I'm going to start using um, just this base flower here and then we'll put the layers on so let's see how it does okay right now I have my uh, machine set at 8 because I'm going to be using Basil cardstock and I have my machine set on manual portrait density one with one and so then I'm going to press enter here and then it's going to give me my options for each category and I'm just going to arrow over and I'm going to pick the flower enter and then what I found out is if the item is blinking the image is blinking you can use your arrows up or your arrows down and that will get you to the image you want so since I my image is closer to the bottom I'm going to go ahead and arrow up here and start the bottom images there so see how I'm getting to different images and that's the image I want so I'm going to press enter there and then it moves the cursor over to multi cut and size so I want my multi cut there to one so arrow over and then I want my size to four nope I didn't get on there, there we go okay so I'm going to change my size to four and then I'm going to enter and then it's ready. It's ready to cut. So I'm going to put my cardstock in. Let me go ahead and zoom out and move this over here. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to try to do this around my camera, so bear with me. So I'm just going to put my paper in here and then I'm going to hit the arrow button. And that'll bring my paper down. I need to go over because I already did this once make sure I knew what I was doing okay so we're gonna start down here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit cut it's first drawing for me so it's using the pen if you do not want to use the pen you can go ahead and lift this little lever pull that out lift it up remove the pen and then go ahead and do it again hit by hitting your cut button and it won't be able to draw okay so it's done so I'm gonna hit the arrow bring this towards me and lift it off okay so there's the first cut okay now I want my layers so I'm gonna do that next and I just chose another color for the layer so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my paper and in manual feed you just push it up against there and move the button up button and I'm just gonna bring it down since I've already been using this machine I'm just gonna use some of my cardstock trying to use it up all the available space okay so then on my screen I'm going to arrow down to my next layer and enter there multi cut it saves your settings so you can go ahead and press enter and hit cut ok 
Okay, let's see how it did. Okay, there's my layer in there. Let's see if it fits. Okay, so we're gonna put that right here. Oh, here comes my three-year-old daughter. Let me see what she needs and I'll be back. Okay, now I need my white layer. So, and I'm using a scrap, so you can see, you can still use your scraps with the e-craft. I'm just gonna put this in here and go ahead and, now it's loading that. Go all the way over so I can utilize my paper. I'm still getting used to the buttons, so sometimes I hit the wrong arrow, so you'll have to forgive me for that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go to my next layer, and I'm going to enter, because everything's going to be the same, enter again, and hit cut. This is so cool, not having to worry about mats and sticky stuff everywhere. I'm just loving it already. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get that out of here. Okay, and there's my other image. And then this will fit, oh, sorry, right like that. And then I'll show you what I did with my one that's already put together. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'm going to change around here. Okay. I'll bring one that I already finished. So this is the flower. It's already finished. And I just put a little bit of glitter there, glitter on the bottom, and it turned out oh so cute. And I will be making a card um, later for you guys um, using the eCraft machine too with this flower so you can see what you can do with the cuts after they're done. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I will be doing a lot more. If anybody has anything they want to see me do, go ahead and email that to Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, at cardstockheadquarters.com. Have a great day and thanks so much for watching.